I want to talk to you for a moment about the classical mythology course I will be teaching online this summer for Calvin College. This is a course that I have taught many times in the last decade, but 2019 is the first time I am offering it online. Why should you take this course and what will you gain from it? First, the basics. If you need to fill a fine arts core, then classical mythology will neatly do that in a painless and entertaining fashion. The class is designed in a six-week format in which we will read and discuss together some of the best myths and stories of the Greeks and the Romans. We will read Homer's brilliant Odyssey, the heart-wrenching tragedies of Aeschylus and Sophocles, Virgil's hero story about the foundation of the world empire, Rome, in his work The Aeneid, and the wild, love-drenched, shape-shifting metamorphoses of Ovid. As you read through these gripping stories, you will have the benefit of my lectures to explain to you what the stories mean and help you grow in your knowledge and understanding of the ancient world and its connection to all subsequent aspects of Western history and culture. Because the course is asynchronous, you can access content after your summer job, while you're at the beach, on the bus, or during your commute. You will also interact with me in discussion sessions twice per week to go deeper into the material. Of course you want to know about testing and academic requirements. This course has no prerequisites and will feature three cumulative tests and three papers of graduated length. I am interested in you learning and will hold you accountable to the material so that you can gain real confidence in it. Finally, what are the most important reasons to take this course? Earning credits toward graduation is one good motive, but I want to suggest that your interest in classical mythology should go deeper, especially if you are someone who professes faith in Christ Jesus. The world of the New Testament, by God's providence, was one shaped fundamentally by the Greeks and the Romans and their languages and cultures. It is very difficult, if not impossible, to understand the world into which Christ was born unless you know something about Athens, Corinth, Ephesus, and Rome places where Paul and the other apostles lived and worked, speaking Greek, planting churches, and teaching that the gods of the nations are false and idols. Do yourself a favor and read Acts 14 sometime, where Paul is mistaken for Zeus and Barnabas for Hermes. Wouldn't you like to learn more?